Okay, so AI image generation is becoming harder and harder to ignore. I keep seeing it everywhere and its impact on the art world really can't be ignored at this point. So I figured it was only a matter of time before I tried it out. And if you're a solo indie game dev like myself, this could potentially be really helpful and at the very least pretty fun to mess around with. So I really want to do two things in this video. Uh, use my own original artwork as a prompt to see if I can, one, get something in a more digital painting, fantasy, concept art style, and two, see if I can get a photorealistic style version of the artwork that I created. So I built a little test scene using my own original art, uh, which is from my adventure game that I will hopefully be revealing in the near future on this channel, and I'm going to replace the whole scene and all of the artwork with the AI enhanced artistic version and the AI enhanced photorealistic version of the art. So stick around and we'll do a before and after comparison of everything. And this is really the first time I'm using any text to image generation AI stuff. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can come up with. So I try to do all my game dev work on open source software just because I really like that concept. And Stable Diffusion is an open source text to image AI that you can download and use on your own computer. Um, and you can check the link in the description for the same version that I'm using in this video. It's super easy to set up and you don't have to worry about command line prompts or anything complicated. Um, you will need a pretty decent GPU to be able to run this locally. Um, I'm running a GTX 2060 Super, uh, which I bought before the crypto mining disaster destroyed GPU prices. Um, but I've been able to create images relatively quickly and uh, up to a few of them at a time in parallel without anything going wrong. So I just want to show you how I'm going to be creating the images I use to replace my original artwork. All right, so here is how I'm setting up my Stable Diffusion UI version 2.1. Um, I kind of like to have everything on screen at the same time just so I can see what's going on. In the upper left hand corner, I have the command prompt, which opens automatically whenever you run the program. And that shows you the percentage of completion uh, whenever you're generating an image. I have my prompt images in my lower left hand corner here. And uh, I can just click and drag any of those images onto the initial image option in the Stable Diffusion UI, which is on the right. So um, there's the prompt input field at the top and there's the advanced settings where you can play around with some of those settings to see how they affect the images that you get. I got humanoid cat character meditating in lotus position on an island floating in space, island with glowing flowers and large blue tree, stars and galaxy in the background. All right, let's start with the sort of test scene images and just look at some of these. This is actually really impressive. Um, so it definitely took me a few tries, well a bunch of tries to get some of these images, but I really think these turned out great. Like look at, I think of these six, A and E are my favorites here. So A looks like something that straight up is just like, oh it's uh, some sort of illustrated children's book about a mystical cat fairy or, <laughs> or something. Um, but oh look at E, that one's like kind of like a cosmic cat. It's, they actually got the cat sitting down sort of in lotus position there. It looks like the cat is sitting on like a like a like a visible universe or something. Like look at all those lights down below. And I love how it tries to interpret the tree behind there. It sometimes doesn't really get it, but other times it gets it like spot on. Like there's some really cool trees in there, like F and C and A. Uh, D looks, wow, I swear I've seen that like on the wall in like a Thai restaurant somewhere. <laughs> um, but wow, I tried to get those colors really well. B is something that I would just, I would hang that up in my house kind of. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, if I had to pick a favorite out of any of these six, I think I would have to go with E. I'd have to go with E. It just looks like some sort of cat god that is like uh, bestowing some sort of wisdom on whoever comes to, to find him. Uh, that's really cool. Um, okay, so this is the format we're gonna be using. We're gonna do the same thing with the other prompt images that I have. And from the images that Stable Diffusion generates, I'm gonna pick my favorite ones and then we'll use my favorite ones in the actual test scene to replace my original artwork. All right, let's go on to the next image. All right, next up are the blue leaves in the tree that I want to include in the test scene, and just look at some of these. 
Um, so this is a mix of different text prompts, like I was trying to go for some that are artistic, like that digital painting style, as well as some that are realistic. And uh, so those are the two main styles that I want to compare, and wow, just look at some of the results that I came up with. Well, I think my favorite realistic version is A, and my favorite artistic style, well, I gotta go with D. I think that just looks, that looks super cool. It looks like somebody really took a lot of time to actually paint that using a nice tablet, and uh, that's kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, so we will use A and D going forward to replace the artwork in my actual scene. All right, next up we have my actual cat character, and look at some of these. Some of them are a little bit more realistic, some of them are a bit more like that sort of character concept art style that looks like somebody actually digitally painted. Wow, I'm impressed. Look at D. Oh, right off the bat, I think that's my favorite one. I don't know what seed image Stable Diffusion used to come up with that one, but that one is really good. Like, it got the head and the body proportions correct got the gold armor prompt correct. Wow, that's cool. And then look at E. <laughs> it's kind of, they're all kind of funny. That one's also kind of funny, and I think that's the closest to that sort of digital painting style that I was going for. Um, wow, so I think of my cat character, D and E are my two favorites. Uh, I think E is the artistic style one that we'll go with, and then D is the realistic style that we'll go with in the actual test scene. And next up we have the tree trunk, and wow, I think here is one of the best examples of where you can see the distinction between the artistic style and the realistic style that I was hoping to get. Wow, look at D, that one just looks like a picture of a piece of wood. Uh, look how it bent the realistic texture into the sort of same shape as my original artwork. That's super impressive. Uh, like it took an actual piece of driftwood and bent it into that shape. That is super cool. Um, okay, so for the realistic one, I gotta go with D in this situation. And let's see, for the artistic version, I think I'm gonna go with B. So D and B. Okay, so I think we've seen enough comparison. Let's go on to take a look at the full scenes. So I'm gonna do one that's using the artistic style and one that's using the photorealistic style version of the AI generated images. So I definitely think of the uh, artistic versus the realistic versions of the actual scene with all the replaced artwork, I gotta go with the artistic version. Um, it's probably really hard to get photorealistic of random things that you've drawn, especially if you've drawn something that doesn't have a sort of real life reference image. Overall, I'm really impressed with the way that the artistic versions of these AI enhanced images look. Some of these things look right out of somebody's like concept art sketchbook. Um, overall, do I think AI image generation is going to replace like the need for actual artists? Uh, no, um, or at least not yet, and hopefully no time soon. Um, I still think you're really going to need somebody who can take the images that the uh, Stable Diffusion program creates and actually make changes to them, cleans them up a little bit, and sort of fits them within the overall art style of your game. Generally speaking, I think most game devs, most artists want something that fits the overall aesthetic that they're going for. Uh, and so that's really the most difficult thing I think you're going to face if you're going to try to use AI image generation for your game or for whatever other reason, is getting something that's consistent across different images and that fits within your overall art style. But look at what we've seen, like it's definitely possible and the image generation is only going to get better with time I think. so. We'll see where this goes. Um, I've seen some videos where people create entire graphic novels and stuff like that. Conceivably, you could create all of your art assets for a game just by typing in text prompts uh, without even needing to include prompt images. Uh, I think you get better results when you use prompt images, but it's really up to you and what you need. Um, so overall, very impressed. Uh, and hopefully this has become an asset that I can include into my workflow going forward. And I think one of the best places to include this kind of uh, image generation is at the concepting stage. So it's really easy to come up with, even like uh, engineering artwork that isn't necessarily final, I think this is super useful and super cool. All right, and last but not least, this is the image I was most impressed by and the one I used in the thumbnail for this video. Uh, so this is a sort of close-up portrait of my cat character. And uh, let me show you the tags and the text prompt that I used to get this image. Realistic portrait of a humanoid cat with large, beautiful eyes and pointy ears. 
wearing gold necklace, wearing Egyptian jewelry, stars in the background of portrait, and then the tags I included were beautiful lighting, hard edge painting, and concept art. I think this is the image that convinces me that these AI text to image generators can be super helpful for game dev or any other sort of artistic pursuit. If not, maybe in producing something that is a final image, in at very least like giving you something to start with that you can refine later if you want to. But this example is something that is close to what I would consider like a final image. Um, and this is probably something that I would have to pay somebody on Fiverr or something like that to get, since I can't really do the digital painting style myself, or at least not as good as I, I want it to look. Um, but this is really impressive, and I think if I can apply this sort of same styling to other aspects of my artwork, uh, then I can use this for marketing, I can use it for like steam capsule images or whatever other sort of official images I need. Like this is the exact digital painting sort of character concept art style that I was hoping for, and you can see there's a little, uh, it's definitely not like a perfect image, but it's totally fine, especially if you're going to build onto this, um, either painting it yourself or using it as an image prompt to refine even further in stable diffusion. This whole process has been super impressive. I think AI image generation probably isn't going to replace artists anytime soon, um, and that's probably more difficult than just sort of running your image through stable diffusion a bunch of times and just hoping you get something similar. But uh, in terms of what you can do with no experience and just using basic artwork as a source, this is unbelievable. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy the video and I'm still trying to work towards my first official devlog for the game that I'm working on and I hope to see you when I eventually announce that. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next one.